Hi, I'm C Bro, and this is Theodore Raz. <clears throat> so, we would usually be playing a game that's usually written and designed by Rockstar, whether it's Grand Theft Auto or Left 4 Dead, but we're gonna try a little bit something different. This video game that I have is a throwback from 2006, I mean early 2006, to 2008 and 2009. Yeah. So. Go over. So do I. Um, you get more games than you realize if you hit this. If you go to the games category of the um, Xbox 360 Xbox Live compilation disc, you get more games than you bargained for rather than if you hit play on the disc. Because if you get the. If you get the whole. Um, um, the compilation disc, you'll basically be left with Boom Boom Rocket, Feeding Frenzy, Luxor 2, Pac-Man, and Solitaire. And Uno, surprisingly. So, Theodore, what game do you want to play first? How long have you played Uno yet? That's crazy. Oof. This version of Uno is way better than the is way better than the card game. So anyway, we're gonna do a little talk about something. Yeah, um the volume should be cut off so we won't the volume for this because it could be it could be copyrighted. Yeah, true. You got the remote? No, it's over there. Ah. Alright. Alright, so what are we gonna talk about? Today we're going to talk about the, the um, I have upcoming, well, did you say four and Nico Bell's voice actor, we got some information. Yeah, we kind of found something about Grand Theft Auto V, kind of like an easter egg that we never knew about. We, it was basically something we were too blind not to see it. I saw it the first time, but I'm going to explain it to you guys. So, if you guys don't know Nico Bell, like, protagonist of GTA 4, um, yeah, so Michael Hollock, if you know him, he, so what happened, you're used to playing, I'll talk about it. Um, Nico Bellic is basically the main character you play as in Grand Theft Auto 4. Unless, unless, unless you guys play, um, the expansion pack. Now, if you, ma if you manage to somehow, if you manage to somehow, um, if you manage to go to a certain part of Los Santos in Grand Theft Auto 5, and you find a group of hobos. One of them is the washed up Nico Bellic from part four. So he's on a sign that says, Money, need money to get back to the VC. Now, here's the problem with that. And what problem is that? We can't give money. And then, listen, if you're rich and you beat the game, I would definitely give Nico money. Yeah, true. But it never explains why you can't play as him in that one. Now, brother, if you guys don't know why you can't play as him, I'll give you why. Because Michael Hollick and Rockstar are not in a good place. They are on thin ice. Yeah, like way thin ice, meaning, um, meaning um, they, one person didn't agree with them in you know, the process. You guys, you guys always say what happened, what happened. So when Michael Hollick was playing as Nico, he got 400, he got two, he got 100k. And he thought that was not enough. In my opinion, he just got paid way more. Yeah, I mean, don't you think if he got paid more that he, he could have been GTA Five? He could have been protagonist for GTA Five. Yeah, I mean, but um, what makes GTA Five real different from GTA San Andreas and GTA Four? Well, you can go underwater. Uh, that too. That too. Here's what I don't understand. When what is it? Why everyone thinks that Trevor took on Nico Bellic. But how can you tell me he's dead when, when we actually see him holding a sign for money? Now, guys, GTA 5 online during December, if you play online, guess what's coming out? The biggest heist ever to hit. We think it's Liberty City, but we think Nico's involved. Even but, Roman Bellic might be involved. But here's one thing I really don't understand. If Nico Bellic showed up, just as a cameo appearance for part five, how is it all connected into the timeline of Grand Theft Auto 4? And, and how is Trevor involved all 
co coexisting against him. Guys, if you guys don't know, if you guys don't know the story about GTA 4, there's one mission called Roman, Roman Sorrow. Here's what happens. So he's talking about Nico, and he says, he's like, one night I had a dream, a dream that one of us, we had a place of Rome, a classy place, a tavern. People come eat and relax. So if you guys go into the Yellow Jack and the Darius and Los Santos, you go to the uh, over the jukebox, whatever that thing's called with the CD on top. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, guess what? Not really. That is, there's a picture of Nico in a tow truck. And when Trevor walks in there, the lady says, Trevor, you're still banned. Basically saying, maybe Nico banned him and Trevor came in a rage and tried to kill Nico, but... You sure it's not because Trevor was secretly in part four and got banned from the porn store and, that, and then he was possibly uh, on one of the wanted posters? Trevor... Oh. Who's that? What? That's pretty. Oh, no, I'm yeah. Don't worry. Anyway, guys, Nico Bellic is not dead. Yeah, and we have solid freaking evidence that oh, Nico uh, Bellic was never oh, dead in the and, first place. There's another one that's who's, who's alive in, in, Liberty, in Los Angeles. Tommy Versetti. For Vice City? Protagonist of Vice City is alive. So, if you don't know what happened, I'm going to tell you. So, this is. If you know where Polito Bay is, right? Yeah, Polito Bay. Yes, I know where that is. In GTA 5, Polito Bay, if you go there, there's a lady about to get buried alive, and she says, my dad, Tommy, um, is going to pay you a million dollars. So you save her, you get a million dollars, and gets, gets through it, and then you go to your bank on the game. Let's say, let's say, transaction from Tommy Versetti. So that is Tommy Versetti's daughter. So there has been, like, uh, I mean, these are these are stuff we never even knew about. I uh, knew about this, just so you know, I worked with Rockstar during that game, so... Oh yeah, it's... I mean, it's stuff that I didn't even know in the game that, that I was so blind not to see it. Now, there's also one guy also confirmed alive. If you guys don't know Tony, or Gay Tony, or Tony Prince, whatever you call him, he's alive because he's in GTA Online. Exactly. And you know how some of the restaurants like the Lucky Plucker, Taco Bomb, Taco Farmer uh, up in Attenberg you can't go into in the GTA 5 Xbox 360 disc version? You can go into those places alongside the online edition. It's the only place you can go it's the only place you can go you can go in that park. Also, I'm also gonna tell you something. Yeah. Tony Versetti. No, you know, no, Versetti. He's the main protagonist of GTA Liberty City Stories. He's alive. And he's uh, a mission boss. And Theodore actually has has the he has the book from GTA 4 that has most of the missions and what it explains what all you have to do. And if you guys look inside, I'm not allowed to show this, but. Inside, I have signed by the actor Nico Bellic. Mike Holick. Isn't Mike Holick from Russia or Estonia? No, he's from, he's from Slovakia. Slo Slo so, Czechoslovakia. He, see, he, see, he did that Slavic, he did that Slavic accent. Oh, you would mean this accent. Yes, he did that. He said he had to work with dialect co coach, but I don't believe that. Yeah, I mean. Alright, right, so. Last person alive is Melk, if you don't know who he is. He's a biker. From he's online, do you say? But he is um he's he's one of Johnny Clubbit's friends. If you don't know who Johnny Clubbit is, he's uh from the Lost and Damn DLC from GTA four. Um, do you have any more theories about GTA six floating around? Mm-hmm. Well what theories do you got? I got some insight guys. Was that studio and I got some inside where it's taking place and everything. Well, what, what, the years, the years 2021. It's taking place in Vice City, Miami, Florida. Okay. It is confirmed that the protagonist is a female. Michael DeSantis' daughter? It's not Michael DeSantis' daughter. Ew. However, it is a female protagonist. Well, mm -hmm. did, did they say anything about, um, 
anything about Michael, Trevor, Nico, CJ, and Franklin making a reappearance? Yeah, so Franklin definitely make a reappearance. Because actually, this is all three of them might make a reappearance. Here's why. Because if you guys don't know the ending, no spoilers. Which I spoilers or yes spoilers? What? No spoilers, okay? Yeah. Okay, actually, yes. Yeah, spoiler for here. A and B is kill Michael or Trevor. But um, C is death wish. Death wish means death wish means um you you both walk away. But here's what happens. If you guys do um C is a canon ending, which means that's when it's supposed to happen. Like kind and they said Roman Bell might appear because in GTA four, if you do the revenge deal, the revenge, um Roman lives, and that and that's canon ending where Roman lives. That's a canon ending. Um. If you do the deal, Roman dies, but that's not canon. Uh, my theory, my theory for for GTA Six is you get more vehicle cheats and more and more and more possible vehicle outlooks that you didn't think were possible. Like, um, you know, Back to the Future, uh, with the flying DeLorean. Deluxe one. They have that in GTA yeah. Line. Yeah, but um, what if? What if this type of vehicle is a cheat that can that can go back in time to where to the previous that can go into the previous game with the same graphics as the previous ones? Like you want to go back to GTA San Andreas if you're in GTA Five time if you're in the GTA Six timeline, you can go back and bam, you're back in San Andreas in the nineties. CJ, CJ is not confirmed dead. Some say he's in hiding. Which I understand because he killed Officer Tenpenny at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, like, even I know that, and I got to the end of it. Who else is um, not confirmed dead? Who? I never said he's not confirmed dead. Uh, Big Smoke, not confirmed. Yeah, he is. That's who he killed at the end. Oh. If you beat the game, you know. Isn't there, like, Death Wish on that one? No. It's Damn. only, it's called in the line, you kill, you kill him, and then he's like, then, 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 then Officer Tenpenny comes and says, First, first Austin Pulaski, this fat fuck, you know, it's time from you. Um, do you think, um, any possibility of... Oh, and guys, they're making a Halloween video game. It, it is available now for Steam. Oops. Which means, if you have a computer game, if you're a computer, if you have a computer and you're a gamer on a computer, you can buy it for free. It's right now. It's free for the first few months. I have it already. I played as Lawyer Stroh and I survived. Um, you, you get to play with all the characters from all the games. If you play, but there's only one person you gotta call back. Dr. Samuel Lewis. Lewis. You gotta actually call him back. And he'll come and help you shoot Michael. Alright. Um, it's kinda like if you play as Tommy, it's like you play Tommy Jarvis and shoot Jason. It's kinda like that. Do you remember the video game that I was making with the script? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm actually creating a video game that's gonna be, hopefully, a Rockstar video game. And this game is supposed to be like Grand Theft Auto and Saints Row mixed into one times 250. It's supposed to be way, the kills are supposed to be way more brutal. This is gonna be the first Rockstar game. Guys, I don't care, I think he's kind of copying a video game that's already made by Rockstar. He's kind of copying a game already. Not really. Yeah. Manhunt is just like that. Dude. Same character and everything. The main antagonist is in prison for death row for so, death. So so is the manhunt. And then he breaks out of prison to to clear his name and But he but he tries to kill someone who tries to turn him in. Cause he knows if he gets if he if he gets sentenced to prison, he will get the death penalty just ten times faster than they expect it. Also guys, um this video is gonna be sponsored. And, um... Should I sponsor it? Sure. Okay, guys, I, well, this video is sponsored by Manscaping. What the hell? <laughs> you guys want your first order, go to manscaping.com, type in Lance210, and you can get 20% off your first kit. What the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry. Dude! That was stupid. <laughs> no, I'm actually promoting it. Alright, alright, alright. Um... So, uh, the video game, uh, The Convict, the script I wrote, this guy was, um, was 16 years old when he was convicted of a murder he didn't commit, and at the age of 26, at the age of 26, 19, in 1979, he escapes to clear his name, but the same officer wouldn't die 
Officer Lopez gets killed in every extravagant, kind of like him. And he just... He doesn't die, so... Um... In one in one of the missions, the thirty year long the thirty year coma, um, these two Russian doctors, uh, Doctor Bykov, and hey, I got a good doctor name. Hang on, and Doctor, uh, I'm not sure what the other one's name, but they're both Russian. One of them called him a Durpitsa, which means dumbass in Russian. You know, we could have done Doctor Dmitri. <laughs> Dmitri. Dmitry's Russian, guys, just so you are all there. Alright, so this game is supposed to be like Grand Theft Auto, but it has one thing that Grand Theft Auto never had, but Mortal Kombat had. Fatality moves. Yes. He's copying Manhunt, guys, I'm sorry. What even is Manhunt? You're this guy who's on death row when you're 16, and you break out years, years, years later. And you try to clear your name, and you try to find the guy who framed you, so you can. But he also framed. He his sister also gets framed in the process. He just tries to clear his name, basically, Manhunt. And here's what's cool about Manhunt: it's based off a real TV show, that was back in the seventies. Oh, so um. But Rockstar didn't make the game until later, because remember, Rockstar didn't start until nineteen ninety eight, but the show was in the seventies. True. And well, guys, I was on Red Dead Redemption Two online this year. Guess what I saw? What? A character who looks like Dan Hauser, the writer of Rockstar Games. The Get out of town, man. What? You serious? He was sitting there and he looked at me, he told his head, and he's like... Alright. Um, like, why'd you shoot me, Dan Hauser? Yeah, you're like, why the hell did you shoot me, right? Dan Hauser is Morgan's dead body, even though that game takes place, like, years before 